COVID-19, it's inconvenient for some and it's fear inducing for others. But in this broadcast, we'll talk about how COVID-19 could be bringing you everything you've asked for. Curious? Let's get to it. You've heard of unconditional love, but have you heard of the secret to unconditional happiness and allowing more into your life? More wealth, more success, and more love. More freedom in your life right now. Welcome to the Happy Bar with Israel Savage. I feel oddly calm <laughs> throughout all of this. I think we're all on the precipice of global change right now in terms of interaction and what it means to connect with people. And I find myself, I'm always wanting to connect with people, but I find myself noticing other people if I go out for a walk wanting to communicate more as opposed to keeping their eyes down. On the individual level, we ask for things and we pose the question and then we get the answer. We, we see the problem and then we notice the solution. By the way, the solution is there before the problem, before we're conscious of the problem. It's the problem that helps us focus in order to find the solution that's already there and was there before we were conscious of the problem. Does that make sense? And the same with the question. The answer was there before we had the question. The question is there to help us focus uh, so that we will notice the answer that's already there. And so just like on an individual level, on a global scale, correct me, please, if I'm wrong, but I have felt for myself and for the world that there was a, a noticing of polarization between political parties, between uh, uh, countries, uh, walls, boundaries, people pulling apart, separating. Has anybody else noticed that? And in, in my noticing that challenge, what's happened organically for myself is a longing for the opposite of that, which is what? Oneness, togetherness, right? Working together, cooperation. And so what we've done collectively is we've reached out for this thing that we've wanted. By experiencing the separation, it's made us more conscious of our desire to come together. And I think I posted this the other day, compassion and love know no boundaries, right? There's no wall that can keep out compassion and love, compassion and love. And there's no wall that can keep out a virus. There's no wall you can build to keep out a virus. And, I, and so I think a virus, this virus is a great reminder of how we're all connected. We're all one. We can put up the walls, but really it's just for show because we're still connected and we still affect each other. And the virus is a great reminder of that. If anything in this episode resonated with you, take a moment to subscribe and then share it with just one person. It's our mission to make the world a happier place, one insight, one shift, one share at the time. Just one button click from you might be the very thing that helps someone else's life click into place. Until next time. Remember, if you'd like more tips on this topic, then go to the link posted in the description of this broadcast.